What's going on, Bart Farts? We're back with another video. Um, bit awkward, but, uh, hey, I'm back. Now, you guys are probably asking a lot of questions. The first one, obviously, being, where have you been? I've been busy, but good thing, school is almost over, so that hopefully means I will upload more videos soon. The second being, why do you have a blanket? Uh, it's because I'm cold, and I'm probably gonna have this on for the rest of the video, so deal with it. The third one is, why are you making this video? Well, I had the idea to make this video because I wanted to make a little short, quick video. Might not be short, but it'll be a little quick video for me to edit. I might just put in the clips. I'll be done with it quickly. It'll get out quickly. And uh, I will. And hopefully, again, more content will come in the summer because I've been busy with school and football, and I'm going to be busy with football, obviously, because I'm going into uh, going into high school football. But yeah, I'm going to be busy with that. But hopefully, I hopefully I have time to make videos and time to entertain you guys. And the final question is. If you didn't look at the title, you'd be asking me what video we're doing, but if you did look at the title, then you know what we're doing. We're just going to be doing a little quick video on the Jets, because, again, I want to get this out quickly, and I want to film it quickly. Now, first order of business is, uh, we finally, did, we didn't get rid of Zach Wilson, but we finally got an actual quarterback. And, uh, I think you know what quarterback that is, uh... It's Aaron Rodgers. If you didn't know that it was Aaron Rodgers, then you have been living under the biggest rock that I've ever seen in the world. Unless you don't follow football, which in case you're not living under a rock. But if you do and you didn't know that, you are living under the biggest rock I've ever seen ever. I don't think I need to explain much with the Aaron Rodgers situation. I think we all know that this is great for the Jets. We finally have a piece around us that we can work with. And it's just going to be good all around because he's Aaron bleeping Rodgers, as Skip Bayless would say. And, yeah, he's just a really good quarterback. We might, we're probably not going to win the Super Bowl, but we will probably make the playoffs. Next, and what this video will mainly be about, are the rumors with DeAndre Hopkins and Dalvin Cook. Mainly Dalvin Cook. But before we get into Dalvin Cook, we gotta talk about DeAndre Hopkins. And yeah, he got released because they couldn't get a trade to work. And uh, yeah, whatever team he goes to, he's gonna be doing well. And I still don't know how the Cardinals pulled off that trade. They won it, of course, because David Johnson didn't do anything. And I don't even know if they had like any picks in there, but if they did, those picks probably didn't amount to much because of the Houston Texans. But what I do know is that he, is that DeAndre Hopkins is probably not going to the Jets because I've seen multiple reports saying that he may be going to the Bills, Chiefs. I've seen I've seen people say he might be going to the Cowboys. I mean, I don't know where he'll go. Wherever he's gonna go, he's gonna perform great. Unless he gets caught doing PEDs again. But if he doesn't, then he's gonna do great and uh yeah, I, I don't think I need to explain much there. Now, the main point of this video is the second guy, Dalvin Cook. Yeah, he didn't really do well last year. I think that's obvious to anyone who even slightly follows NFL analytics. Now, not saying that Dalvin Cook is bad. He's better than most running backs. But the Jets have Brees Hall, who is... A young running back, even though he just did come off of a torn ACL injury. Didn't Adrian Peterson come back from a torn ACL injury? He was fine. And and also there were other there were other ones too. So it's not like an ACL injury will 100 percent end your career. He might not perform as well as, as last year, but he'll still perform well. Hopefully, at least. That, I mean that's what I'm hoping. If he doesn't, then uh, we got Michael Carter, but he didn't really do well last year, so yeah, that, that, won't, that won't help us. But, yeah, Dalvin Cook, he's been in cahoots with the Jets. Not in cahoots with them, but he's been in multiple reports with them. 
I'm gonna say this flat out right now. We should not get Dalvin Cook. He can go to Miami. We don't need him. Again, Brees Hall, Michael Carter, and plus, we have receivers, we have tight ends. The only thing we really need is O-line, but then, but then again, Mekhi Becton's coming back. Elijah Vera Tucker is coming back. We just drafted a center, Joe Titman. And uh, if if the if the Patriots didn't screw us over, thank you for nothing, Patriots. We would have gotten Broderick Jones, but we didn't, and we had to settle with Old McDonald. Yeah, I don't even know who he is. And like I said, this is going to be a very quick video. I will have longer videos out in the future, but but again, I just want to make a little quick video. Let's get down to the line of business. What do I think the Jets record is going to be? Now, keep in mind, I may or may not be biased because I am most likely going to be a little bit biased, but with this year, it's probably not going to seem that crazy what I'm about to say, but yeah, I think the Jets are going 11-6. I know they play in a tough division. I know that Aaron Rodgers won't solve all our problems. I know all that. But Aaron Rodgers definitely helps out a lot. And with the addition of Aaron Rodgers, I don't think I'm crazy when I say this, but with the pieces that we have around him, us getting Alan Lazard, us getting Randall Cobb, Garrett Wilson being there, Brees Hall coming back, yada, 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 uh, Nicole Hardman. We got all those guys. We have pieces around him. We are building around him. We are trying to win. And I think we are going to win. If we don't, then I'm going to cry in the corner like I do every year. But I hope that we win this year because if we don't, then that will give Patriots fans even more reason to clown on us. And I don't want that happening. But uh, yeah, that's the video. If you liked it, drop a like. If you want to, subscribe. And uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Bye.